Hello and welcome to Model Kit Stuff and today we've got a little product review for you. This is A Stand Acrylic Varnish from Megamo. So, A Stand, this is a new product from MIG Ammo. Um, a Stand is their um, range of lacquer paints. So, um, they have primarily metallics in the range, um, and this has just been released as a, a complementary varnish. But it is not a lacquer varnish, it's an acrylic varnish. It's called Aqua Clear Gloss. It's an acrylic varnish and its reference number is MIG2503. And the reason why this has come out as an A stand product is that this suits any paint type. So um, you can put it over uh, enamels, uh, lacquers, and acrylics and um, have a, a decent surface for either decals or weathering with either enamels or acrylic products so it resets your base for whatever you want to come uh, with next um, i've used this so i can talk about it with some knowledge now um, the thing that i really like about this is that you can use it straight from the bottle so unlike other varnishes let's say uh humbrol um uh, gloss coat or even uh, Vallejo's uh, polyurethane gloss. They need a good shake. Sometimes you might need to give them a bit of a thin. This you use straight from the bottle. In fact, you're instructed not to shake it and you can see there is no sediment buildup or anything in that bottle at all. So um, it's simply put a pipette in, take some out, drop it into your airbrush and away you go. Now I've not tried um, using a paintbrush with this but it's fairly thin so there's no reason why you wouldn't be able to use a, a paintbrush with this um, for, for small areas and, and what have you um, but I put it through my airbrush at, um, just somewhere between um, half and one bar um, and uh, that was about right and um, it does tell you on here that you want to um, have it at 12 to 15 psi or 0.8 to 1 bar so I, I was at the lower end of that and it went on beautifully so let me give you a couple of examples of products that I've used this on so this um, uh, array of dials for um, my Gotha um, this has been given two coats and there was probably about 15 minutes between coats and I would say it was touch dry after 15 minutes. Now they will tell you that it's touch dry after about half an hour. My experience was putting a fine coat down at 15 minutes and I could handle it um, well enough to uh, give it a second coat or, or whatever I needed to do to be honest. Um, so all of this was painted and then it was given two light dustings um, of the varnish and you can see it's given us a nice even shine. Um, it looks really, really good actually. It's gone on really well uh, and this is now ready for adding decals and doing some wood grain painting. So I'm really quite happy. Let me show you another part that's got a larger surface area. Now on this part, interestingly, I went in a bit heavy handed um, and the, the product actually pooled here. Um, so I, I sprayed and then I oversprayed um, and I, I just pulled back a little bit too far on my airbrush and I got a pool there. And this lot had dried and this was still drying and you can probably just about see the witness there. Um, but it's not darkened anything, and as it's dried, it is self-leveled, and it's come off really well. It's not it's not formed um, a lump or anything like that. It's not gathered and hardened in, in a drip at the corner. It has leveled itself out, and it's come out really well, even though my technique was a little bit iffy. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Let me show you another piece. So this, again, has had two coats. Um, at the time of recording this, it was probably about an hour ago, and it's completely dry. Um, 
So um, what it hasn't done, it hasn't changed the color at all. There's no yellowing. There's no. Um, there's nothing that uh, alters what you've already done. Uh, you wouldn't even know you put it on. Um, I, I've put two light coats on here, uh, and as you can see, it's sealed. It's glossy, but it's not overly glossy. You'd need that's two coats, so I reckon you'd need at least another two coats to get. Um, a high luster if that's what you wanted um, but this is perfect now for adding decals or whatever I'm going to do with it so I am really quite happy with the product I'll tell you that this dries in about half an hour um, but is fully hardened on 24 hours so I've not tried putting um, uh, masking tape on it um, I'd probably wait well, a minimum of, of 12 hours before I put any masking tape on. But if you were going to put masking tape on and leave it on for a period of time, then probably the 24 hours that he recommends. Um, as varnish goes, it's not the cheapest varnish on the market, but it's certainly not the most expensive. This 30ml bottle will set you back about £6.15. Um, now, I actually got it as part of a set. Um, and I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting a different uh, varnish and they swapped it out for this new one. So um, if you buy it in one of their solution sets, I bought it in the wood solution set, then um, you basically get and get a bit cheaper because the whole package uh, is cheaper than buying the individual items. So there you have it. This is a stand acrylic varnish from Migamo. And I have to say, this is my new favourite gloss varnish i love it hope that was interesting helpful useful you enjoy your modeling and i'll see you very soon